everybody in this video we're gonna be talking marvel snap hang and can he guarantee you infinite and you get it in two days is that something that is easy to do we're also going to be talking specifically some decks that might help and maybe won't be so good with them so let's get to it if you're not familiar uh over the course of the last couple of weeks i've been trying to keep my collection level as low as possible i think i had it around 11 or 1200 and then Kane came out. I had a video that I did on it about trying to climb to see if I could get some of these boxes and some tokens uh, to potentially get them because he showed up in my store. So in doing that, I was like, man, I really this is my second season. I'm about a month and a half into the game, approaching two months, and I just didn't know. My first season, I got infinite, but I was under 600 collection level. I had Zabu pre-nerf. So the question was, could I really keep doing that? I wasn't sure. So I got I got Kang and I started trying to figure some things out. So I'm obviously got infinite. I got it. I got it uh, about a day ago. I was really ranging in like from the 68 to probably 75 ish range. And I was doing this forever. I couldn't get out of it. Uh, I made a small push to get to this 78 to 81 range again, just bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth. And then I slowly kind of got from that 78, 81 range and sort of pushed up to 91 a little bit. But then I was from 83 to 91 and I couldn't get anything going. Kang gets, gets introduced to the game. He shows up in my token shop and I start thinking, man, maybe I should try to get this card because I think, and I'll say this right now, officially on record. I know everybody's not sure about Kang and how he's going to be. I, obviously, who knows? It could change in the future. But my current position right now is that Kang is, unless they change it, is that Kang is going to be one of the most coveted cards, if not the most coveted card in the game. He fits in almost any deck, and he gives you a lot of versatility in what you might want to do. So I really think that from that regard, he's going to be a high-level coveted card. So he shows up in the shop, and I'm thinking, hmm, I was like a little bit of tokens off. Anyway, I did a video on that. I'm not going to get into it, but I basically got the tokens through the credits I had saved up, bought the $100 pro bundle thing and i was like you know what i was gonna do this later so i was like all right fine and i get the, enough tokens to get him so there was money spent to get him no if and it's up or bought it you've got to do that to get the tokens or you got to get lucky in the collection lever so i did what i did to get him so the question here is though once you get him is he something that can actually bring you up to infinite so i started uh, you know i couldn't get anything going Straight up, I just couldn't get anything going. It was it was difficult. Uh, I was not necessarily enjoying it. And honestly, like, I was worried that I just made this purchase that was going to, like, screw me in the game. I was just like, what did I just do? This card sucks. I can't do anything. I, again, I did a video about just losses because I felt like I was losing cubes. It wasn't a good time. So this was the first deck uh, that I was trying to get going. It was sort of a negative deck. Uh, I won't go through each card necessarily through Zola in there, which I got during the climb uh, to move maybe devil dinos around or who knows what, you know, uh, Iron Man's. I didn't love this deck. Uh, I saw some of this around, I think, in some other creators as well. And I just, this didn't sit well with me. I couldn't get it to work properly. So shortly after that, I went to a Lockjaw type deck, you know, sort of the, I call it the Biggie Smalls or the Small Biggies, however you want to look at it is I was looking at trying to do this deck um, where you get the lower cards and then you hope to bring in the, the bigger cards with Lockjaw. You've got a Dracula, Jubilee to suck in some cards, you know, Leech is out there. Uh, this deck is very similar to what I end up landing on, but this particular deck, didn't love it. Didn't love it, couldn't climb, wasn't loving uh, life. Then made a couple slight adjustments and got to what I call Kang Lock Doom. So the Kang Lock Doom is very similar so, but the Sunspot's got to eat. The biggest change in some of this is the Doom, uh, the uh, the Odin in there. You drop the Infinite, you drop the Magneto, everything. Uh, you drop the, the Dracula, and it's kind of like, okay, so you, but you add, I added a Shang-Chi was the last add. I added an Odin and I added a Doom. And I will tell you, all of those changes were what helped me in this deck. This is the deck I now play. Um, and I will say that, I mean, what of these cards, which one of these is really hard to get? I mean, obviously Kang, Doom's great, but a lot of these other ones you can get pretty early on, uh, or you tend to get them pretty early on. So it's actually really, really nice. 
Uh, I, I try to get it so that I can get my Thor out there. I get my Mjolnir in my deck. I don't have Jane in this deck, which obviously would make it even better. But I don't, I, I mean, if I was to replace someone, I guess maybe Chavez, I'd take Chavez out. She's okay to have in there at the end, uh, but just to try to bring Mjolnir in, maybe Jane. Leech is, I, I mean, I'd really like him as a card. I know they're talking about nerfing him. I don't know exactly what they'll do to nerf him. Uh, I mean, maybe to not affect all the cards in your hand. That could be something I'd see. I talked about that also, but the idea here is that you try to you try to get those bigger good cards in with the lockjaw. Try to build up your Thor. Um, I swear to you, I'm gonna have a, a shorts video on this. But Jubilee is pull. I think I've gotten five or six in a row where she pulls Wasp. But Jubilee is in love with Wasp for whatever reason. She's always gonna pull her down. Shang Chi's obviously just there for a little backup. The greatest possible thing you could get here is somehow if you can play Doom down on a lane have Mjolnir laid on turn six and then Odin on turn six so you get Doom twice and you get the Mjolnir twice that's the chef's kiss combo if you can pull it off somehow obviously you need energy from something in there you know if I had a Psylocke or something in here maybe I'd be able to throw that down on a turn four I mean I, I'm not sure who I'd pull out of here for that maybe Jubilee honestly so anyway this deck I grew, I was a fan of, I we, we were on stream doing this. We were trying to figure out which pieces and components would work best. I am a big fan of this. Uh, there might be like higher tier decks with more complicated cards in it that I just don't pull four, pull fives. I don't necessarily have those. I really like that this is sort of a, I don't know if I'd want to call it a budget deck because Kang's in it, but as far as Kang uh, decks go, pretty decent. You know, it's not something that you're going to, you know be really strapped to get so from this deck i started climbing i got to infinite i uh i was able to get all the way like i said i got here the other night i was pretty excited about it there we go we'll get our new card back so i'll do a quick game here uh just to see if i can get one to work but i think you kind of get the idea uh i and i really like again this is a great start first of all fantastic start you always want to play Thor before you play Lockjaw and Wasp. It's you, that way you get the Thor out there, and then if you can get the Mjolnir, and then you drop the Mjolnir and Lockjaw, and hopefully you can maybe cycle that through a couple times. So much for that idea. This is just sort of a mess with deck. Oh, there's my Kang. I was going to say, he comes into this, makes you feel really, really comfortable so that you know, you know what opponents might do. I personally really like to use Kang on turn six. Uh, I don't necessarily like to use them on five. I know a lot of people like them on five, but I just, a lot of times I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to, I'm going to stay this way and see what happens. So obviously I'm not going to get Kang through this lockjaw, which is fine. Not the end of the world. This particular hand and then Odin goes in early. This is one where I'd say, you know what? I know I'm unlikely to probably do anything well here. Uh, you know, maybe I can get a leech out of this and see... You know, but it's not, I don't know. I mean, I even doing this, I don't love this, where you pull someone in and it pulls it in. Watch her pull Waspier. I'm going to laugh my butt off and leave this in for sure if she pulls Wasp or that rock. Wasp. Well, Ra. Well. Unreal, right? Yep, but I get a leech out of it. So I find that hilarious. She's literally pulling Wasp nonstop. Um, so now I'm in a situation where I don't, I can't play Kang anymore. Uh, the only thing I've got in my deck is a Rock, a Sunspot, and a Merca Chavez. So it's kind of like, all right, what do I want to play? Do I want to, do I want to play, you know, a Vision here and sort of hope and pray? Uh, you know, maybe I guess. Uh, can I get a Sunspot? Can I get something different there? It's a little risky there. So to avoid risk, you know, I'd throw the Vision out there. They're not playing. They skip their turn. So what are they dropping here? A bunch of She-Hulks. This is where. I prefer to play king i prefer to play king because i'm doing a video right now so let's just throw that over there and you know try to get a five on the other side see what happens i would normally retreat here but because i'm doing a video i'm gonna go ahead and hit and i'm mean, fully expect being to lose that was the weirdest thing i've ever seen they either dc'd or just straight don't care so that's not a good example but at least you got to see jubilee pull wasp you normally don't love that, except for the fact that Leech was in my hand. Uh, I'll take it. A lot of the other cards, I you just, you know, you lose the power with Odin, which is sort of unfortunate. But I don't get to play him a lot. This is obviously a Infinity deck. 
We can see how this does against that. Um, I would love to play the leash early on this, which I will definitely do depending on how much they play, which I don't expect them to play that much, or I do expect them to play quite a bit. Interesting, getting the blue marvel out early makes sense. Then we go with Thor, they're playing a Sunspot. Uh, one of the things I do like about this deck is that it does tend to be fairly versatile. You know, you're not like locked into anything that's like a, you must do. Uh, let's see, this this isn't too bad to drop a Sunspot in over here either. Uh, we'll see, I don't. the only thing I'm a little worried about here is if Kang comes out. Again, I don't love doing Lockjaw when Kang's in my deck too much, but we'll see. All right, let's see. It's Kang. There's Doom. Now that's that is awesome because now I have what I was talking about. Wasp again. Now I can play my Odin there on turn six. All right, so um, I'm definitely gonna play my Odin over here on six. I didn't get what I wanted, obviously, with America Chavez. She's another one. Well, I like that she thins the deck out up front a little bit. Um, I don't love that if I am a late play on Thor and I don't get him in a turn that she's there. So, well, they leave. So uh, they were obviously not super comfortable with that. I think it's a great deck. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm not going to sit here and go through this over and over and over uh, because I think you get the idea. And the point of the video is really about can you get to infinite? Is Kang going to guarantee you infinite in a couple days? I think he's a really good card to play out. I think, you know, normally, I like I said, I like to play him on turn six. But a, a deck like this is pretty versatile and you want to have those multiple win conditions. So let me know what your thoughts are. What have your experiences been with Kang? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you think the snap reset thing should go away? I said that again in a different video. Let me know your comments there. Appreciate you guys making this far. If it's been helpful at all, consider hammering down that like button. Share with your aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, neighbors. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.